video is on rule of four. And all that the rule of four is, and these are numbered one, two, three, four, but usually you're given like a situation and from the situation, which is just words, just a couple of sentences, from the situation, you can either write a rule or create a table. And you can write the rule and create the table, or you can read a table and create the rule. And then once you have the table with the X and the Y, you can graph it. And so we're going to look at different situations and the way that you would create a table, create a graph, and find a rule for them. So it's not in any certain order, it's just these four things go together. Now probably the most confusing thing about the rule of four is just all the different terms that are for the same thing. And so if you have a rule, AX, um, let's label what these things are also called. It's also an expression. It's also called a process. And of course, I've already referred to it as a rule. So those are all words that could be used and, and we, it even includes equation and the y equals. So all of these things could be talking about the process column or the equation or the expression that's listed here. We also call it the rule. And then in the x column, we have x and we have y. And there's other words used to um, refer to these also. Um, output would be another term for Y, and let's see, position is another term for X, and N, you might also see N called, uh, X called N, especially in sequences, and then value would go here, and input would go here, and of course output, and then I think that's about it for all of our terms. So if we wanted to, we could actually move these to where they all showed up as to where they fit. And so you have your, the things that are called X, the things that are called Y equals or the process column, and then the things that are called Y. And so I know it gets confusing because all of these mean the same thing, um, and you might hear it called one thing in one place and some, something else in another place, but all of these are synonymous, and language arts terms, meaning they mean the same thing. So you can consider it that way. Now, this will be checked during the homework check, so you need to put this down in your notes or come back to it. So let's look at some examples. And what I've done is kind of labeled, this is the situation, this is the table, and we're gonna find the rule, which is the expression. So here's our situation. It costs $7 per hour to rent a canoe, plus a $20 deposit. So we've got seven per hour plus $20. Okay, so if we, rent the canoe, so our X goes here and our Y goes here. If we rent the canoe one hour, that's seven times one plus 20, which would be 27. If we rent the canoe two hours, that's seven times two plus 20, that's 14 plus 20, so that's 34. And if we rent it three hours, that's seven times three, 21 plus 20, which is 41. And really, would you really rent a canoe more than three hours? So let's just stop there. Um, so this is our expression. That's the one for the rule. This is our table. This is our table. That's the two for the rule of four. This is our situation. It told us where to start. That's three. And then four is where we would graph it. But I'm not going to graph this one because I don't have a graph here. But I'm going to plot the points. And all that means is take this number here and put it here. 
and this member here and put it here. Oops. And so 2 would be 34 and 3 would be 41. And then I would graph this. I would go over 1 and up 27 and over 2 and up 34. And it would make a nice straight line. So that gives you an idea of how to do it from a situation. Let's look at another situation. Susan is 4 when her sister is 7. Susan is 5 when her sister is 8. So it's actually giving you, so um, this is X and this is Y, and so Susan is 4 when her sister is 7, and Susan is 5 when her sister is 8. So um, we're, we're just going up by 1. This is going to be adding because the difference between the ages always stay the same. So it's going to be um, X plus 3, right? And so this is 4 plus 3, and this is 5 plus 3, and then 6 plus 3, and 7, 7 plus 3, and it goes on and on and on. And so my X's and my Y's would be 4 and 7, 5 and 8, 6 and 9, 7 and 10. And so I would go over 4 and up 7, and over 5 and up 8, and over 6 and up 9, and over 7 and up 10. And it's going to make a nice straight line that's going to go like that. And so whenever she was zero, her sister was three, because it's plus three. So that's how you would do it. So this is the situation. This is the table. The expression is this. Um, this is the graphing points and the graph. So it's the four things. One, two, three, four. So three scoops of lemonade mix make six glasses of lemonade. So let's say, so this is X and this is Y, and one, two, three scoops make six. So I have to look at the relationship, what's going on. So how do I get from three to six? Well, it's times two. So two times three. So my um, process is times two. So 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, and 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So I've got my um, situation, I've made my table, this is my expression, what's going on between x and y, and now I'm going to plot my points, 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 6, 4 and 8, and then I would put my points on the graph. and make a nice straight line. And there you go. So the four, four, rule of four, one, two, three, four things. And let's see, this is the last one we'll do. This is X and this is Y. And it says Max has $10 and he can purchase apple pies from McDonald's for a dollar each. So one, one dollar per apple pie. Create a table show how much money Max has if he purchases three pies. So if he purchases one, two, three pies. So it would be 10 minus one times one, which is nine. 10 minus one times two, which is eight. 10 minus one times three, which is seven. And that's how much money he would have. And it just, his money goes down as his, um, as he gets more pies. This is his money. So this is X and this is Y. So this is 1 and 9, 2 and 8, and 3 and 7. And so 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7. And this would continue going down. And you could see off this where the additional points would be. And it would be four and six, five and five, and it would go all the way down to where he spent all his money and bought all his 10 pies. 
So your homework check, and this is on your Google form um, in Edmodo, is to say all the other things that are names synonymous with X, and all the names that are, all the things, items that go with Y, and all the items that go with Y equals. And then um, your fourth question is, Sarah gets paid to wash cars. She makes $5 per car and $25 for each day she works. Which set of data represents how much she made for washing six cars? And it doesn't have, show six, but um, it shows you the data of up to four. So um, which one of these has the data correctly? And you pick the one that would be it.